Charlie Kerno is a liability against top eight teams. Okay, j Dog. I'm going to say something really controversial right now, so make sure that you're sitting down. And for all the Carlton supporters out there, I'm going to say something that you're not going to probably like or you might agree with me. But I was having a look at them on the weekend and they were playing virtually a top eight team being in Collingwood. Now, they might not be in the top eight, but they are virtually a top eight team. And I have had a look at their history over the last 12 months, so 2023 and a little bit of this year as well too. Their biggest weak link is no one in their back line. It's not their midfield. It's one of the twin towers in their forward line. Charlie Kerno is a liability against top eight teams. Just letting that one absorb. You are hurting. Um, there's, there's a lot of people, Peps. I'm a big fan of Charlie Kerno. I know that Tori Williams is a huge fan of Charlie Kerno. I'm a big fan of Charlie Kerno. I reckon he's an absolute gun. So all I'm saying, you, have you, seen, have you ever played the game Come in San Diego? Yep. When you get close to, to catching the crook and then like knives or an axe will fly across the screen when you're getting close? I'm pretty much copping that. I'm copping yeah. that right now. I'm probably getting people on the channel going, this guy's an idiot. What the hell does he know, et cetera? Well, oh, this is what I know. So I went and decided, like, let me just go and have a look at some statistical analysis from 2023, a full season where Charlie Kerno kicked 81 goals. Bringing out the statisticals, are you? I have to bring out a stat for this because this is what happens. Awesome, 81 goals. He was 19 off the ton, which I think is probably the highest goal-kicking tally for – I reckon maybe 10 years, maybe. Don't have the exact number, but 81, massive. Don't need it. Don't okay. need it. It's our show. Don't need a number, right? It's our show. Here's the thing, though, J-Dog. When you add up all the games that he played against top eight teams last year, he only kicked 28 of those against top eight teams, including three finals of last year where he kicked a whopping three. Mm. So – He's a bit of a downhill skier. He dominates against teams with lowly fullbacks, lowly defences. He kicked 19 in total in the two games he played against West Coast. Yet when they have gun fullbacks on him, Sam Taylor-like, uh, Harris Andrews, uh, Stephen May, um, maybe two times you can throw a Lear Lear in there from a, a Port Adelaide perspective, he doesn't do anything. And I've been very, very surprised, and I've been very critical of this bloke, Harry Mackay. I'm more impressed in the way that Harry Mackay is attacking pack marks than Kerno is so far this year. I reckon with Charlie Kerno, if you can, if you're a good backman and you get on his uh, bad side early, and you can nullify him, his confidence is Kaputsky, and he goes missing against top eight teams. It's the proof is in the pudding. Um, I you, he yeah. has. Seven goals this year in the – or eight of seven or eight, can't remember, in the three games he's played against top eight teams this year. So he's going he's going okay at the moment. But for a guy that is supposed to be a generational talent from a full forwards perspective, a two-time Coleman medalist, I want to see him kicking bags, bags, bags against the big boys and not against the minnows like West Coast, North, um, Essendon, Etc. I agree, oh. but I find that I find that Charlie Kerner is probably dragging two defenders versus Harry's on one. All the good forwards drag two defenders. All yeah, yeah, but 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 I I feel that they're more attached to Charlie than they are onto Harry. So Harry gets out. So if there's two on him and they're attached, he should be getting more free kicks. Can I ask a question? Yes. Do you think Jeremy Cameron does the same or Jeremy Cameron is more weaponized when the ball hits the ground he can do miraculous things? I think things. he's more weaponized. Yeah. And he's I think I, I don't I think, think Jeremy, Jeremy Cameron I would not classify as a pack mark. No. I would say he's more of a a, a weapon. Like he, yeah. he he's 
He's closer to a Buddy Franklin type player than he yep. is a Kerno, uh, Fraser Gehrig, that type yep. of big monster down forward. One on one, one on one, and stuff like even that. Up, but for a guy that's 196 centimeters or something on those lines, who is just an absolute massive unit and pretty good on the eye, he should be just launching into pack after pack after pack after pack uh, and dominating. And I'm not seeing it enough against the the higher ranked teams. Theodore has jumped on here as well too. He says, there's a bit of Danaher about Charlie. Gives up the chase too early and gives some token efforts. That's the type of stuff that we like to see here on the Chatsky. So like to see it, Theodore. So bring more of it. I um, I do agree. I do agree with that. I think there is... I don't know, I think, I, I don't know if I'm more impressed with the... The rebirth of Harry in terms of like his kicking, like he's always been a great mark. I don't think you can ever take that away from him ever. He's always been a solid mark. It's just the kicking. Yes. I think that has now become a lot better. Yep. I still think Charlie has probably more upside, but, but I do agree he needs to learn either two because he is, he is he is the guy. He is the he is the forward focus. He needs to learn how to, how to deal with the two the two ups. Hawkins has done it. Buddy had done it. Like they've all gone through it. So I, I do agree. I do agree. The, the lesser teams don't have that quality of defender, like you said. So therefore, he does get off the chain a bit and can start to roll off and, and and play a bit of back shoulder and sort of not be as accountable as to that. What you're saying? Yep. So yeah, I, I think it's warranted from what we're I seeing so far this season. There's some merit just from what I've seen. But I'd like I said, I'd love to hear from the Carlton supporters out there thinking that I'm an absolute jerk. Don't get me wrong. He is a gun. He's uh, you know, a person who draws crowds through the gates to watch. But I want to see more of it against the top teams. I don't want to see him have another three-goal final series like he did last year. He's better than that. And if Carlton have any hope of winning a flag, he, can, he will be, not can be, will be the difference of you holding up a cup or holding up a plane ticket to Vegas.